to the Origami Mantis Shrimp by Andre Ernikov, part four. So you might notice this is already all collapsed. I did this already just to practice and know how to teach it well. So I'm going to be teaching you how to collapse this right here on the other side right here so let's get into it you'll notice this is pleated like that but it's all open right here we're going to fix that and get it to lie flat just like right here so let's get started in this corner right here <coughs> right like this and just make this out of stretch. Like this. There. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna open this up. And start collapsing all the way up here. You will notice that right here, sort of, we have this line. We're going to make that a mountain fold and make this mountain fold. Start pressing this up here. Like this. then this finally goes into place like that. And then you can squash this, just like that. And this part should be mostly smooth. And if you look on the other side, that's the same thing I did right there. Now what we're going to do is this fold continues on a little bit. So we're just gonna start pleating this right here. Press this in. And you will see this all goes flat like that. And just continue pleating. Until you get to right here. So you'll notice this continues on like that. But right here, it stops and this meets another fold right here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna keep these pleated like that. Pleat it a little more. And then we're going to close it in like this. Sort. Okay, so I just neatened it up a bit. It should look like this right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to continue pleating this all the way here and you will see this right here, this starts to close in like that. So all this is still flat. And what I'm going to do is now we're just going to continue making these lines all the way down. Like this. And then what we're gonna do now is we have this right here. It looks like that. And we are going to close it in. So keep making these mountain valleys all the way down. And we're just going to press, start to press this into place.
like that. Now you will see this starts to come up. So, and then we have this little X right here. What we're going to do is we're just gonna pull that out and start pleating this back and forth. So now it should have this, we should have this, and it should flatten like that. Now right here you'll notice that if we keep pleating this like that, we can do this L stretch right here. like that, and then this will all go into place. Like that. There we go. Now what we're going to do is, now you can just open this all the way up like that. Just hold this and open it up. And now what we're going to do is just start Right here we have another X and just close this in. Like this. In the other tutorials, I've been following the diagram, but in this tutorial, I'm mostly just starting from one end and collapsing all the way to the other end. So this is not 100% from the diagram. Now what you can do is right here, you can open this and squash fold it if you want. But you don't have to do that. I'm not going to because we're gonna open it to here, not there. So now you can go to the end and this can start collapsing here. Like that. And then right here, you're gonna open this up, press that in like this, and fold that down. So that should look like that. Now what we're going to do, we have all of this in here to collapse. I'm not going to show all of it. I am going to show the first probably two little segments and then I will let you do the other ones. So, you will see right here when we open this up that we have this. And if you can see this square right here, we're going to start making mountain folds all the way down until the next one. So you can see we have that we're going to start to close that in. I'm gonna outline that like this. And you're just gonna start to close this in. right here.
Now you're going to take this. and collapse right here and right in here. Right here, and then we will be able to close this first part. So collapse this part here. Up and down. And now just collapse that tiny part right in there. And then right here. Like that. Now do the same right here. And you will notice right here, what you can start to do is right here, you make this flat. Then you make two valley folds right in there. Make this a mountain fold. And this collapses like that. Then you can collapse this in there. But it looks like that. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So mainly we're going to go to this cross right here, make these two mountain folds and pull. Then we just sort of have an owl stretch right here. Like that. Now you can close this up, fold this in half, neaten up this part here. Just make it so this part's sticking up with everything leading to it. and just push that in. Like this. Right here is very unneat, so I'm just gonna pull this out. Like that. Then you press this down. Like that. Then these can fold down. So that is one set we have right here. This just gets cleaned, and then right here we have an L stretch. Like 
that. Then just collapse that. And right here, you can just stretch that. Right like this. Now, most of what you're going to do is just continue doing that all the way down. And except for right here, all you're going to do is, you see how that is a square? You're just going to fold this up over it, like what I did on this side. You can see, I forgot which set it is. Yeah, but somewhere up here, it gets folded over. So, yeah. Okay, so next we have another one of these. So, what you can do is open this up and make another L stretch right here. like this. You notice we now have these as the two points right there. And now we're going to go to the next set right here and just start outlining that. But right here, what you'll see is we have two squares. What we're going to do is where we had this on this side, what we did, right here, so on the third set, what you have to do is you have to double it up and it looks like that. This locks together pretty well, but if you can see, this gets folded that way. So if you look right here, you're just gonna make this and fold it over. like this. And now this is one. And we can collapse this like normal. Now we can start to collapse this in. As you notice, this just stays together like that. And we can neaten this part out. Rotate it. We can make this mountain fold. Like that, and just start to collapse this.
And then we have that right there. Now just start to close this in, just like we did on the other one. And then this gets flat right here. This one too. Now we can neaten this part up quickly. And then we're ready to collapse this one. So make the two valley folds. and just collapse it. Make that a mountain fold. Then this can be a lot smoother. So our first one can now fully collapse down. And almost our second one. We can make this L stretch right here. Then do this coming down. This can collapse more. Just take all of this and press it together. and then flatten it and you should have something like this. Like that. So that is the second set. Now you just do the same thing with the rest all the way up. Before you do that though, open up right here and there's something we need to do so that this will lie flat at that point. We're gonna open this all up right here. And you will notice a set of creases running this way right here. We're going to make those creases by doing this. So right here, we're gonna press this in. Like that.
and just start to make these right here. It will lie flat and press this in. This will start to come in like that and then we just make these creases right here. I'm gonna pull this back in. That. Right, just like that. Now we can press it together and make these lines right here. And this should line up perfectly with this right here. Now it should look something like this and should right here lie flat perfectly. Now we can just continue making these all the way through here. The only thing you have to keep in mind is just right here, you have this. And then mostly from there, it's just the same thing all the way down. You have all of these right here and here pointing like that and then I will show you how to do this last one okay so I've finished collapsing this right here and now I just have to collapse right here so I'm opening this up a little bit you still want to have those two little prongs on the underside and what I'm gonna do is start down at this corner and just work my way up. Like this. and just go all the way up. And now start making these creases here. Bring this all the way down. Like that. look something like that and you're going to keep this open a little bit now go to this side right here and make a long sort of thing right here, an owl stretch. Like this, it goes all the way down, all the way up, along the crease lines. So if you can see right here, it goes like that.
now right here we have enough space to just do the last thing that we've done for the rest of these this one should be a lot easier because there's a lot more room just press this together make these creases and continue all the way down. Now, you can press this in like that, and that part is collapsed like this. Now we can just finish getting this together. Now just collapse this down like this. This should be all collapsed like this. It won't quite lie flat because it's all in there like that. But the last thing to do in this part for pretty much all collapsing is just right here there is one giant owl stretch so just make that map full and go all the way down Then make the valley fold, make the mountain fold, and make the valley fold. Then make the mountain fold just all the way down. Go up. Now just take this, pull it down, and press this whole thing together. And there is the fully collapsed 
Origami Mantis Shrimp by Andre Ermakov. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next tutorial. I will be doing a shaping tutorial probably for this. So thank you so much. Ha <laughs> ha!